this lesson it's about uh, numerical patterns. But what is a pattern? In a world around us, a pattern might be the rings of a tree, the ripples on water, the hexagon bees build, or this abstract pattern. Everything is a pattern because everything has some repetition on it. A pattern is something that repeats. A model, something that repeats using a rule. Let's see now what a pattern is from the mathematical point of view. I'll generate some patterns and you'll see what I mean. The simplest pattern can be just counting. But it's boring, so I'll just count only even numbers. Those are patterns. Let's see something more interesting. For example, begin with 0 and 1. Add them up. That will give us 1. Add the last two numbers. 2. Add again the last two numbers. 3. Add again the last two numbers. 5. You see the rule is add the last two numbers. It's a simple rule, but it makes a wonderful pattern. You'll see. 8 plus 5 is 13. And so on. Now this is a pattern invented by the mathematician Fibonacci. So what, you'll say? Well, you can draw with this pattern something wonderful, though you have to know a little more math to do it. It's called the Fibonacci spiral. Another interesting pattern is how we arrange some steel balls to form a triangle. First triangle and the smallest one is 3. First number from our pattern is 3. The second triangle is 6. It's using 6 balls. The next one is 10. You see, you cannot form a triangle with numbers less than 10 other than 3 and 6. This number have a signification. Let's continue. 15. You can do this as long as you wish and find many triangular numbers. By the way, those are called triangular numbers. Here's another one, 21. Let's form now a pattern with square numbers. Why square numbers? Because we form square patterns from iron balls. The smallest square we can form is using four iron balls. The next square has 9 balls. The next square has 16 balls. And the next square has 25 balls. Do you notice something? These numbers are all squares. Of course, 4 is 2 times 2. 9 is 3 times 3. 16 is 4 times 4. And 25, 5 times 5. This is a pattern with square numbers, of course. Let's check out a pattern that is not really mathematical. Every time Sofia comes from school, her dorks barks and jumps for joy. It's a pattern? Yes. It's a mathematical pattern? I don't know. Let's see now a real mathematical pattern and a more difficult one also. An asphalt paver lays 100 feet of asphalt every hour. What is the finished asphalt length after 4 hours? We can solve this problem in a different way, but I'll solve it now, emphasizing a mathematical pattern. An asphalt paver lays 100 feet of asphalt every hour. What is the finished length of asphalt after 4 hours? Let's see the pattern. In the first hour, we have 100 feet of asphalt. In the second hour, we have 200 feet. In the third hour, we have 300 feet. And in the fourth hour, we have 400 feet. The answer is 400 feet of asphalt. The answer is 400 feet of asphalt. The catch here is to observe the mathematical pattern formed in this problem. Generate a numeric pattern using the rule. 
add 1 to the double of every natural number smaller than 10. First, we have to find all the natural numbers smaller than 10. Here they are. Then, we have to find the double of every natural number smaller than 10. That's easy. Double of 0 is 0, double of 1 is 2, double of 2 is 4, and so on. Next, we have to add 1 to the double of every natural number smaller than 10. So we have to add 1 to the numbers we already found. 1 plus 0 is 1, 1 plus 2 is 3, 1 plus 4 is 5. This way we found our pattern. Let's see how we can complete the table. On this column we have the first numbers. On the second column we have the numbers with 2, added with 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. On the next column we have the numbers multiplied by 2. That means the double of the numbers from the first column. So this is the table completed. Let's solve now a problem using a mathematical patterns. This is Albert. He makes 15 miles per hour with his bicycle. Albert bikes 15 miles per hour. How many miles he makes after 5 hours? Let's form a pattern here. In the first hour he makes 15 miles. In the second hour he makes 15 miles more. In the third hour he makes 15 miles more than 30. And in the fourth hour he makes 60 miles. This is the answer.